Welcome back to Julie's Wreath Boutique. Today we're gonna to make the American flag flower. Yep, we're gonna do it today because you guys have been asking for it and this is my take on it. Nothing fancy, but I'm also gonna show you something different on how to cut the Dean Michael Designs petal. I'm so excited to show you this new technique. So let's get started. Welcome back to Julie's Wreath Boutique. I have been messaged, I have been seen it, seen it in the comments here on YouTube, and been asked so many times, Julie, when are you gonna make the flower that kind of resembles an American flag? And so I have not watched any videos. I've seen a lot of people's wreaths, especially in our group called Wreath Creators and More. There are so many talented people in that group. So I'm kind of basing this off of what I've seen from different people in my group. So um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over our supplies and then we are gonna get started. And I'm going to show you a new technique today on how to make the daisy petal and how to cut it in a way that will help reduce the fraying even more. So hold on to that thought. But first, let's work on what we're going to use. I'm gonna use a 10 inch wire wreath frame. I have a lot of these in my stash, so I'm just gonna use it. Now you could use a 12 inch wreath frame, you could use an eight inch wreath frame. The only difference is if you use a 12 inch wreath frame, you're gonna just increase the number of petals. If you use an eight inch, you're just going to decrease that number of petals, okay? So that's the only difference. And you can use a 12 inch wreath frame, and I've seen them at my Hobby Lobby and at Joann's and Michael's, where instead of maybe if this was a 12 inch frame, instead of working on this um, bar, just come in a bar and that will kind of make your wreath a little bit smaller. So it might fit in the boxes that you ship out a little bit better for you and you'll use less mesh that way too. So what are we gonna do for this um, wreath? Well, I'm going to cut out with this plastic canvas. This is called the five count mesh. You can get this at places like um, the ReShop and Trendy Tree and um, Hobby Lobby. But um, I'm going to cut out all I do, and I've showed this to you before, so I'm going to just explain it, and then you'll know. I'm going to outline a piece for the middle section, cut it out, and then attach it with zip ties, okay? So that's the first thing you're going to do. And then, as far as my mesh, what do we need? We need red, white, and blue. Okay, so here's my dilemma today. My dilemma was which blue to use. So it came down <laughs> for me which blue did I have more in stock? And so what I do try to do with my stock is I keep certain colors on hand so that when people make an order on my website, which is juliesreathboutique.com, um, that way I have the mesh. I don't have to order it. Um, I only offer what I have in stock so that um, I have my materials on on hand. <laughs> so what do I have? So because of that, the big winner today is going to be the navy blue. So we're gonna use the navy blue. I really think this vibrant blue is really pretty, but I only have a few rolls of this left, and I have a couple of different orders that are on my site, so I need to keep that mesh. So either way, it's gonna be good, okay? So we're gonna use this. We're not gonna use a whole roll of each, so if you um, purchase a navy blue, a red, and a white, or maybe you have some at home, know that you're gonna make a couple, at least two wreaths out of all this, okay? So right now it's, uh, let's see, April of 2021 and sometimes finding resupplies are a little bit hard. So keep checking in with um, the ReShop and Trendy Tree to see if they have it in stock. You could also use like a deco mesh if you would like um, in place of the poly burlap. But okay, so we're gonna do the Dean Michael uh, Daisy petal, okay? And I'm gonna leave her her channel in the description box below, but she's the person that came up with the daisy petal that we use so much in the flower wreaths today. But I kind of got an idea today. I thought, what if we were able to seal more than one edge on the petal itself? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you two ways, okay? I'm gonna show you the normal way to make the Dean Michael petal. And if you wanna stick with this, then you stick with this, okay? The first way that you can make it is that you're gonna need just a 10 inch um, piece of poly burlap. Now I'm going to cut over here 
to get it a nice cut here. Now I'm using a wood burner and I like to show you guys, I'm using that tip, it's the chisel tip. I'm using a glass cutting board. You can get the glass cutting boards that have like a, um, oh, a bumpy finish and then you just flip, flip the cutting board on the other side and it's smooth and you can use that as well. You can still see your mat. All of this is in my um, Amazon affiliate shop. I always leave you guys that link. And um, it has a list of wreath making supplies, must haves that you can look at. So what the th first one that you can do, so there's two different ways we can make this wreath, okay? This is the first way, okay? Is that you will cut a 10 inch piece. Now it's very important you wear a mask when you are cutting this, okay? because it does put off some fumes. Now, that's the first way, okay, is you cut it at 10 inches. And basically what you would do is you would just take your um, petal here and you would lay it over in a triangle. I like to always kind of bend mine underneath a little bit there. And you just make your petal, okay? And then we'll just take a piece of, um, or a zip tie to kind of hold it here. All right, so that's the first way. And if you wanna do your whole wreath like this, you do your whole wreath like this, okay? But what this does is it exposes this edge that yes, you've already burned it once. But I'm gonna show you another technique that you could do, okay? But this is a little different because you're gonna to have to cut it longer. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna cut the next piece at 11 inches. Now, you can do a whole wreath at 10 inches and you can do it this way. Okay, but for this wreath, I'm gonna cut all of my petals at 11 inches, but I'm not gonna be done with the wood burner just yet. So let's cut it at 11 inches. This is 10 inches across. I'm gonna cut it once. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside. And then basically what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my petal here uh, rolled sides up and I'm going to lay it. I had the finished side down and the finished side up, okay? And then I'm gonna turn it. And basically what you can see here, I don't know, I, I, what I'll try to do is give you a close up, but you can see the 11 inch, the, the over edge of our um, petal here. And what I wanna do is I wanna fuse together this petal and I'm gonna go through that finished edge kind of in the middle there, okay? So we're gonna fuse this together now. And I'm gonna go slowly, don't be in a hurry here. You just wanna go slowly and try to stay as straight as you can. All right, let's see if this works. Now, when I did that, that fused the petals together there, okay? You still have, I cut it a little too close to the edge, so, but over here you can see more of the finished part. So now it's fused together. So the only raw side is underneath here. And I'm just going to, again, I'm, I like to tuck one under there. And I come over here and I like to tuck it over again. All right. And I'm just gonna take another zip tie. And I'm gonna attach it. And I'm gonna, this is how I'm going to try to make this wreath because I want, I just wanna see, this creates a thicker bond here. And I just wanna see if that makes a better petal technique. So it just kind of gives you a little bit more, I guess, um, finished edge that won't fray as much you are going to waste about an inch here, but that's really up to you. If you've got the mesh to spare, then try this technique. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and make some more of these. I'm gonna cut another one. Let's cut another one in red here, and we're gonna cut it the same way. We're gonna cut it at 11 inches. So I just flip it over, and now I'm going to lay it so that this side is nice and straight, and then we're gonna move it over, all right? And I'm gonna just start cutting it. And just take it slow. Okay, 
the end gets a little, if you had something to put down on that, that might be a good idea. So we've got our triangle. Again, I like to just kind of fold mine under just a little bit. I'm gonna just gather it here. I'm gonna fold that one under just a little bit. Okay. And if you had like the wreath frame here, you wouldn't even have to do this step, but because I'm gonna prep all my petals beforehand um, so that we can just put it together, I'm gonna go ahead and put that zip tie on, okay? So basically for this 10 inch wreath frame, I think we're gonna do about nine to 10 of the blue and about, I wanna say 10 to 12 of the white and the same of the red. I might have to cut a few extra here and there. We're just gonna have to wait and see how it looks. Okay, so I'm gonna prep them. So this is the way that I'm gonna do the wreath. I'm going to seal the edges just to kind of give this wreath a little extra protection for, from the frame. So I'm gonna do all these and we're gonna have them all ready to go and then we're gonna assemble the wreath. Okay, so the last part that I left you with was I'm gonna make all these petals and then we're gonna come back. Well, I realized I can just cut them and just leave them like this so that I didn't have to use that extra step of a zip tie. So that's what I did. I cut all of my pieces out. I have the white, I have the red, and I have the blue. So what we're gonna do is basically we're gonna start with the blue first. At least that's how I'm going to do it. Again, I've not watched anybody's video on this. I've just seen the reads and I thought, you know, this is just gonna be my take on it. Do with it what you want, okay? But um, so I have a 10 inch wreath form. Um, remember I talked about using a 12 inch or an eight inch wreath form at the beginning of this video. Make sure you watch that and you'll understand it a little bit better. So basically we're only gonna put two rows of petals on this wreath, which is a little unusual. I usually typically have three. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna start on bar two. So basically I go bar one, bar two, bar three, and bar four. So I'm gonna start with the outer row of the blue. And what I wanna do is I want to have at least five petals on this outer row. So you're just gonna take and make your little petal here, okay? I always like to, I know, I add that little extra step. I like to add, you know, that little fold under for me. You don't have to do it that way, that's just me. So I'm gonna start it right here where the cross bracket is and that bar two. And then I'm going to, well, you gotta have the zip tie the right way. You know how you have the, the side that has the little ridges on it that has to be facing up. So we're gonna just do this. So there is one. I'm just going to lay another zip tie right there. Grab another petal. I'm gonna move out, them out of the way here. And just make your petal here, okay? And you're gonna shape it a little bit, all right? So once you get the blue sectioned off the right way, then the rest of it is gonna be a piece of cake. So I always like to, you know, go back and shape my petal a little bit there. All right, put another zip tie. So what I want on this wreath is I want that um, cut edge that we did on this side. I don't, I don't really want that to be shown, but at the same time, because we cut it the way we did, it's just gonna give it a little bit extra protection. And I think, you know what? I uh, put this down a little too far. See how that's a little too far from these two? So I need to move that back up a little bit. Gotta pay attention to that. Okay, and then I'm gonna put one more and we're gonna put it on the cross bracket here. So basically we did one on the cross bracket, one on the cross bracket, and three in between here. Oops, wrong way. Five layers. And now what I wanna do is I wanna see, I wanna put four layers in here, but I'm not gonna use the bars anymore. I'm going to work on the um, inside of this frame and that is the plastic canvas that we put down. So what I'm gonna do is about an inch, about three fourths of an inch in, and really if you wanted to come in a little bit 
more, you could do that. But we're going to just try here. I'm going to kind of go where, where that cross bracket is, is where we're going to start the first one. Okay. So now I'm going to put one right beside it and I'm going to put three more and I'm going to make sure that they fit in between this bracket. So that, that way it has like a section corner of this wreath. Okay. So I'm going to put, I'm going to keep them pretty close together here too. I'm going to put one there and then one here and then one here. Okay, so I have the blue done, all right? And I almost think you could have put probably, I could have put one more layer or one more petal of the blue in the back, but that's okay. Now I'm gonna start with the white and the red and I'm gonna start, I think I'm gonna start with the white first. And let's see, and we're just gonna put it on that bar, okay? That second bar there. And you're just gonna do the same thing, but you're just gonna reverse, you're gonna alternate the colors. All right, so we'll see how many we put um, per section here. And again, this isn't really about sections because we're doing something a little different here um, as it is about making sure you just have enough coverage of the petals so that, you know, if you're even using a Dollar Tree wreath form, it doesn't matter how many sections, you just need to make sure you cover it all. So I'm gonna push, push this one back so that that finished layer is covering over there. I'm just going to do that and now I'm going to do a red one and then what I'll do is I'll just keep alternating back and forth red and white and so forth so if you haven't joined my wreath creators and more group make sure you do that the link is in the description box below we even if you don't know how to make wreaths if you are crafty or just love to see crafts we would love to have you. Um, it's April of 2021. If you um, have been following my page, you know that in April, I usually have a sale on all my premium tutorials. And so right now, this month only, you get an extra 15% off of my tutorials. Go to either my Etsy shop or my website. The links are in the posts below or the description box below, but it's a great time to purchase those. Those are all going to be um, tutorials and techniques that I do not teach here on YouTube. And there are like three private groups for like four of those tutorials. And in that private group, we learn even more. I do, I have some pre-recorded Facebook lives that are in there. So right now is a great time to take advantage of that sale. If you've always wondered, oh, I don't know if I should ever purchase a tutorial, you could give it a try, get a discount, and um, see what um, I'm talking about. So anyway, so one, two, three, we're gonna do another red. And when we're done here, I'll tell you how, how many we used. So I'm just gonna keep alternating and go through this whole outer row here. I'm not gonna work on the inside until I have the outer row finished. So just hold on and we'll be right back. Okay, so before we get to the middle, I just wanted to kind of show you that I had like a little tight spot here. So I'm gonna take my pre-made petal that I had when I first showed you. I'm going to lift up the second um, a layer here and I'm going to just lay my petal right in there. This might be a really good one to have that already made up. Um, and then I'm just going to attach it like so. And so that is the first round. I'm gonna actually make sure that this goes underneath, that blue goes over top, that finished edge over it makes a big difference, makes your wreath look a lot cleaner and neater and it'll help with the um, fraying aspect of it. So here we go. So what are we gonna do? What we're gonna do is the same thing we did here, but we're just gonna alternate with red and white. That's the only difference. So I'm gonna get some more of my zip ties here, and I'm just gonna keep layering them as I go, about an inch, it's about an inch, maybe just a tad underneath of an inch. You can come in even more depending on the size of your center depending on like what kind of foam center you use, or maybe you wanna use a star, it's really up to you, okay? So now I think I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start with the red this time instead of the white. And I'm gonna add this one here, and then I'm just going to alternate. And I've seen some people use like 
two um, reds and then one white, two reds and one white. If you don't have, you know, a lot of one color, maybe you could um, make it a little different so that you can make it all work. It's all about putting it together and making it look nice. So there's just not a wrong way to do it. So you basically get your blue going here and then you're just gonna um, go back and forth. Let me grab some more zip ties here. I get these on Amazon and I've got I've gotten them at the reshop too, which they've been a good price there too. So I'm just gonna keep going here. If you go to the description box, I try to do my best to leave you all the links for all the products. Again, if they're not in stock, um, keep trying. Right now is just, it's again, it's April of 2021 and a lot of places don't have a lot of stock of things, but I think it's, it's kind of this way every spring. Um, it feels like that's when people are really wanting to spruce up their home and they're wanting to make wreaths. And it's kind of been the common thing for the last few years, in my opinion, um, ever since starting making wreaths five years ago. Um, so just keep trying. You could use a fabric mesh and do this. Um, you could use a deco mesh, all of that can be used okay but um and also if you haven't joined my email list that's in the description box below make sure you join that and um keeps you up to date on what's going on in julie's wreath boutique world i guess is what i want to say anyhow but i hope you guys are enjoying spring and getting outside and you know starting to plant flowers we can't do that here in michigan because it's michigan and you know, it might be 70 degrees one day and snowing the next. So <laughs> anyway, so I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing and I'll be right back and we'll work on a center. Okay, as you can see, I am done with the wreath. So let's talk about for a 10 inch wreath form. I used 13 white, 13 red, and nine of the blue. Okay, so if you're going to use a 12 inch, I would say you'd probably need about maybe... 16 white, 16 red, and maybe 12 of the blue. So that kind of gives you an answer on how many petals do I use? And depending on the size of your center, okay? So like this is a popular size. It's about three, almost four inches around. It's about three and a half inches around. But as you can see, if I use this center, it's not gonna cover, it's still showing my zip tie. So I'm not gonna use it for this one, but this uh, type of center, would be good on an eight inch wreath form, okay? So I would save this for an eight inch wreath form. And if you were doing an eight inch, I would say you probably would need about nine or 10 of the white, 10 of the red, and maybe seven of the of the blue, maybe eight, just to be sure. So another option is you guys have seen me take these little coasters. And I think I could probably make this work, um, but I just, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip this one. But you've seen me take the coaster, cover it with felt, and then just have that as a, a, a base to put my cording, okay? So I'm not gonna do that one. What I am gonna do is I'm gonna take one of these discs from, that I get from um, Dollar Tree. They give you two for a dollar. And what I'm going to do is, I've showed this to you before in other videos, and I know this is going to be a lot. I'm going to take a sharp knife, and this is where you need to be very careful. And what I do is I just gently, I will cut out the side. I know this is really loud. Okay, I'm just going to kind of show you here. One section. So I cut out a chunk there, and then I just take a sanding block, and I sand it until this is all smooth so that it has more of a rounded effect instead of having this harsh, you know, um, cut off. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut this around and then I'm gonna sand it and then I'll be back and we'll put the roping that we're gonna use on it. Okay, so we're gonna do something a little different here, okay? I know that I've always showed you how to put the wire on the back, but a lot of you in different videos have suggested um, I run the wire through the top. And I even got an email today from somebody and I saw that she had done this and I'm, I'm going to do this as well. So sometimes your tips show up here, guys. I appreciate that. Um, so what I'm gonna do is you're gonna take your wire and you're gonna put it through the top here on both sides, okay? All right, well, here's the issue. You can't, you don't wanna to pull too tight because that, that wire will go all the way through. So you will need to add a little bit of glue here. Come on. 
press it all the way down. And then I'm just gonna take a little piece of felt and we're gonna put it on top there, all right? And if you're really worried about it, you could always put a little bit of glue um, right here and right here when, and just let it dry just so that it'll add a little bit more protection, okay? So I probably should have made that more um, equal, but it'll be all right, it'll still work. Um, so now what we're gonna do is talk about what we're gonna use. I'm gonna use this white roping. This is all stuff I had on hand and I, I kind of like to use what I have in stock. But there's a lot of different things that you could do, okay? You don't have to do this method. You could use a different favorite of yours as far as centers for a wreath. Um, I had some of this red roping and I think that would have looked pretty. I really don't think that that would have um, clashed too much, but I think I'm gonna stick with the white. I'm not sure that I, I like that red as, you know, it looks a little maybe too Christmassy for me, but it is Christmas roping. Um, another option would be to use the navy blue cording. If you're using the navy blue, you could do that in the middle. And um, I can leave a link to a tutorial that I did just last week um, on how to make this center. And then I had another one, but I can't seem, I don't know what happened to it, but it was a white, red, white, and blue cording this cording and I because I'm using the navy blue I don't want to use that but that had more of a royal blue and it doesn't have quite as much rope and I don't think it would have been enough to do this but if I was doing like a smaller um dome one I think this would have been enough this only has nine feet so it's it's like one yard no nine feet is what three yards Julie <laughs> Math is not my game here, guys, okay? So basically, you're just gonna start this off and I'm gonna cut it here. Let me get my scissors because it has some um, tape. You're just gonna find your center and you're gonna put a little bit of glue and you're gonna be really careful here. And this is just gonna take a little bit of time and that's okay. You're just gonna start it and I like to get these scissors over here. And... Um, I'll hold it down and then I'll put a little bit of glue on top and I'm going to use my nails too and it's just really important to get the start okay and so I'm going to go over the bottom part where it's cut so I'm going to let this set up and all I'm gonna do is I'm going to keep taking it. There's a little excess glue here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap it. But I would love to hear your ideas about what you would do for the center. So in the comments below, if you have some ideas, I would love to see that, okay? And if, if you make this, make sure you tag me on social media because I'd love to see your wreath, especially if you're in Wreath Creators and more. So, all right, so that's setting up pretty good. And, and you can move it a little bit. I like to look and make sure it's kind of centered. I'll just move it over a little bit. I don't know, it's all kind of, it all works out in the end. So all you're gonna do is just take your, your glue and you're gonna be really careful, okay? Because glue is hot. And even though this is a super hot glue gun um, that I'm using, you can use a low temp. I do suggest using the Gorilla Glue Sticks. Um, I just feel like that's better. All right, so I'm just gonna keep going round and round, and then I'll show you how we end it off at the end. Okay, so I have it all done, except for we have to um, attach it on the back. I'm trying to get all the little glue strands. I didn't tell you where I got this particular um, fr um, roping from. I got it from Hobby Lobby. It was near the trim sections and where the upholstery fabric was, and I got it half price. Now this had five yards. As you can see, I used almost the whole roll, but this covers a lot of space. So, you know, you have to just take that into account. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut, um, I got to the end here, you're just gonna go, and I'm gonna cut that off. And then I'm just gonna add some glue here underneath of it, and then I'm gonna, um, use a floral pen as well. I'm just gonna add it like this, okay? And then I have a floral pen. You can even cut this down to size if you don't wanna put it at an angle, but I always just put it at an angle, okay? 
and that's going to hold that down. So that's going to be for the center of our wreath. And I think that turned out really pretty. And again, there are so many different things that you could use. Be creative. I think a brown burlap center, I've seen those on some of these wreaths are really pretty too. Kind of gives it more of a rustic um, American flag feel. So let's move this out of the way. All right. So now we're going to do is we're going to put our center in. So you're just going to find a couple spots here and there's no mesh in the way. So that's nice because usually there's mesh in the way for me. <laughs> So I'm just gonna find a spot here. Make sure it goes on centered. Okay, that looks good. And then you're just going to flip it over and you're just gonna tighten it, twist it like so. I'm gonna cut these. And then I always just take it and I go right back down into the wreath frame, into that. that. Now, what I do is I cut a piece of felt and I zip tie it to the wreath frame. I'll just like poke some holes and put about six zip ties. And that's how I'm going to cover the back of this wreath. And then you're just gonna hang it from the wire frame itself. So let's look at it. So at this point, you could just leave it like it is. There you go, you've got your American flag. So um, what you could also do is this. All right, so I have these little um, confetti. I don't know where I got this. <laughs> I'm gonna be really totally transparent here. This was in my stash of supplies. I don't know if I got it from Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure if it came from Joann's, Michael's. I don't think it came from Dollar Tree. And it says 2018. Okay, guys, this is old. So, um, but my point is you could use a lot of different things. I was going to try using foam and maybe trying to get my Cricut or cry cut. I don't know. How do you say that? Cricut or cry cut? How do you say it? <laughs> um, I thought about cutting it out with like my, my machine and then, oh, you can hear my elephants. My elephants haven't made an entrance for a few videos, guys. <laughs> They're back. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to gently open this because this can be a hot mess express right now. I'm going to see here. And I found these and I thought these would be so pretty. And again, ex just ignore my elephants. And basically what I've seen is people are just like gluing them down and putting them on the wreath. Now you could also, I've seen little wood heart or little wood hearts. No. I think I like these. I'm going to put these on. But because I'm using the um, Gorilla Glue, I'm kind of confident that they'll be fine. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to, let's see, maybe just put one star on the tip of each petal here. And let's see here. I had a little bit of glue there. Let me get another one. Had a little bit of glue on the tip of my nozzle there. Oops. And hopefully this will work. I don't know, guys. This might be a little too hot. You, I might need to get the um, cool glue gun out. But I don't think you need a lot. So I'm just going to put it on here like so. And again, you don't have to do this part. It's really up to you and what you prefer. Oops. And like I said, I've got all these different colors. But I'm just going to use the white. And I'm going to just put it on the tip here. Just a little bit of glue. Now I will probably put this um, particular wreath for sale on my website. So if you're interested, if it's still there available, um, this will be available for sale there. I think this is really pretty. I think I'm really happy with the way it turned out. And this seems to be a really popular wreath to do for, um, you know, July the 4th, Memorial Day, it's a good summer wreath, you know? I think red, white, and blue in the summer is good. You know, and if you're in a different country, if you're in um, Mexico or Canada or the UK, you could use your colors and make a flag wreath. I... Okay, so I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I think it looks really pretty. Um, if you made it this far in the video, again, I always say it every time, and I truly do mean it. I appreciate your time. 
and I appreciate you watching my channel. Um, if you made it this far, leave me an American flag in the comments or leave me a flag of your country so I know what country you're from and tell me what country. Um, I hope this inspired you to make something beautiful and um, make sure you go in the links or the description box below for links for where you can buy product from my Amazon shop, for my email list. Oh, my Facebook page and my Instagram page. Make sure you're following me there too. So until next time, we'll see you in Julie's Wreath Boutique. Bye-bye.